Hey guys, guess what time it is? It's box opening time. What do you think it is? Skateboards? Maybe tech deck skateboards. Well, let's check it out. Got a razor blade right here. Right here, I got your razor blade. Hopefully, it's not just a bunch of pink peanuts. So, wow, look at that. Look at that box. That just looks so gangsta. Cool, so right here it says Opteca. That's the brand name, and then it says it's a something or other words that I don't really know what they mean. And then it says ultra fisheye lens. Now fisheye, what it does is it's like this super wide, it's basically this piece of glass that looks like that. And whatever happens on the inside, I have no idea. But I know if there's a straight line, it basically makes that line go like this. It, it bends it. So the line turns into like a curve like that, like a fish eye. Apparently fish's eyes are like that. No, I don't know. That this one, the uh, settings on it are 6.5 millimeter, so it's super wide, and it's a f3.5, and the f is short for f-stop, and that's how much light your camera is letting in. So very small would look like that, and wider would look like that. So 3.5 is decent, um, like a really good lens would have like a f-stop of 1.8, meaning it can open up really wide and let in a lot of light, and that would be good for a low light situation. So this one is 3.5, it's decent. This lens is really, really good for like follow cam and things like that. So let's crack it open and see what it looks like. Well, it comes with this cool bag. Nice. And yeah, that's what it looks like. It even comes with a little orange lens cleaning kit. So this is a super sick lens. It basically has your settings right here of how wide your aperture is gonna go. And then right here it has your focus from infinite feet down to one foot. And yeah, super nice lens. I love to see that brand new glass on the front. Just looks so sick. Cool, so let's pop this baby on the camera and see what it looks like. I'll show you the difference between this 50 millimeter lens and the fisheye lens so you can get a good idea of what it does. So I'm gonna take this shot of Lance right here. There's Lance with the 50 millimeter lens. As you can see, it's really close. I'll also get a shot of that rail so you can see the difference. Cool. So once it slides in there on that red dot, then you're gonna turn it until you hear it click. And that means your, your lens is now fastened to the camera. So you can see now the big difference between this fisheye shot, how does Lance look now? And again, that rail over there. So you see how close that rail was with the 50 millimeter lens and how far away it is with the fisheye. This is awesome because it enables you to get really close to the skater. You can also see how different my settings are. Now Lance is completely black. And yeah, so you can also notice this line up here. Like I said, it, it turns a straight line, that is a completely straight line into a curved line. So you can just, you can see that difference, which is pretty incredible. So let me fix the settings here on the camera so you guys can actually see something in here. So you can see how close up I can get on my shoes and just the difference of how it looks. So you can see how close up you can get. You can get right in there. So this is great for getting right into the shot and you can just show exactly what's occurring. I've had this lens before. This is the old one. It's the same Opteca 6.5 millimeter. Um, but this lens is used specifically for getting really close to the skater. So every now and then you have a mishap and it's just part of skating actually. 
and you can see this gigantic scratch on that lens. So with that gigantic scratch, it creates this like thing in the middle of the lens, which you're filming with, it just doesn't look good. So yeah, I had to replace the lens and that's why we got the new one. Cool, so that's pretty much it for the Opteca 6.5 millimeter lens box opening video. This is a great lens, I highly recommend it for anybody, and it's actually very inexpensive, so it's a great lens. Um, I was gonna say it's a good lens to start out with, but I, you know, it's the lens that I use, and I guess I'm a little bit past just starting out, so I would just say it's a great lens, period. If you guys wanna get this lens, you guys can click this link right here, It'll take you to a place on my website where I'll have the exact lens that I got and it'll take you to a link where you guys can get your own. So yeah, check it out. It's Opteca 6.5 millimeter. It's a great lens. I'm sure you guys will really enjoy it. Please click that subscribe button, click that like button, and leave your comments below.